Hey up viewers and viewers, my name is General Red Stratist and welcome back to another little indie horror. I haven't done one of these actually in a while, at least not one of these kind of like random little short indie horror games. Obviously I've been doing Liquidators uh, most recently, but um, this is almost home now. Now I found this one on Steam. This one's actually going free um, at the moment. It came out in May. Uh, I assume, well as far as I'm aware, I'm assuming that the dev has no intention of ever charging money for this one. It's advertised as being a 10 minute horror experience, so probably ideal for just one of these little one-off indie horror videos. So apparently in this one you play as a little girl walking back home through the night and of course as you'd guess you're being stalked by someone or something. Let's just throw ourselves in and see what the deal is. Start game. I've got my sandwich now. It's time to head home. Okay so it's I think kind of old-fashioned kind of tank controls. Let me get my mouse cursor off the screen there. I'm just thinking is there a sprint? There doesn't appear to be. I don't see any other controls. Uh, I'm assuming I'm going that way. Um, assuming there aren't... Well, there, there isn't anything over in this direction, but let's have a look. It's apparently... Okay, right, yeah, it's going to tell me. It's going to tell me if um, I'm going the wrong way. That's fortunate. So I was about to say, uh, the way it's advertised this, apparently you sort of like walk home through four distinct areas. I didn't realise it's this late and dark, and apparently the areas get more and more sort of messed up, I'm guessing, as you go along. So I'm judging by the fact that there's no sprint, this is probably more of like a jump scary kind of thing, rather than being chased or anything like that, or just disturbing, I'm not sure. Do I go down? Oh god. Alright, why do I want to go down the dark alleyway? That feels sketchy. That feels like number one way to get yourself in trouble. Oh. Yeah, probably best to stay in the open, right? On the open street. By these here traffic cones. Did you not... Oh. Oh, that's not a... That's not a nice camera angle. Yeah, is there any, any reason... Yeah, I think there's a reason why you might feel... Oh! That's a neat touch. Did you see that? What happened there? Because the camera angle of just over that hedge was like someone watching me. But as soon as I turned my character to face towards the hedge, the camera reset to this. As though the person like ducked down before I saw them. That's clever. That's a nice little bit of attention to detail, that is. Okay, already I feel like I can sort of say... Okay, puppy, be quiet. Be quiet, pupper. Where am I? I'm just going up this way, am I? Oh god, flickering light. I'm going the wrong way. Oh god, I need to go through the park. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. We can do that. So could I have actually gone down that alleyway before? That's the thing I'm kind of curious about. Okay. Some kind of holes on the ground? Ominous. Can I jump in the hole? No, nah, there's an invisible wall that stops me coming off the path. Thank god. They weren't there before. They look unnatural. Do I go this way? That is fucking darkness and despair off in this direction by the looks of it, but... Oh! I saw a... There was like a red glowing light. Oh my god, what the hell? Where am I? What's happening? Uh, I can't see anything. I'm just moving. Hello? Uh... Is something going to appear? What's going on? I can't... I can't see shit. I can barely see fucking anything here. Is there a fucking brightness setting here? Because I can't see shit. Uh... Oh. I'm by the puppy again? Is something bugged out? I, I don't know if I'm supposed to be seeing something here. I'm moving around, but I can't see anything. What's going on? Alright, hold on one second. I might have to jump cut. Okay, I'm back in. I had to basically quit out of the game and then come back in. I don't know what was going on there, but there was like a... I don't know. It was like the camera had sort of stuck on one image, and it was a really dark image, so I couldn't... I could barely see anything. I could hear myself moving around when I pressed keys, but nothing else seemed to be happening. I'm kind of curious. Does anything happen if you go down the alleyway? This feels... Oh no, there's nothing here, is there? It's just a wall. Okay. Alright, that's fine. That's good. That's good. Don't need to worry about that, then. Okay, let's go this way, back past the spooky hedge, where the stalker is no doubt waiting activate the camera thing again, where it does the uh, thing like the person following me. Okay, here we go. Hold on. Let me just get into a good position. Alright. 
Turn around. Ah, there you go, bitch. See, I know you're there. Alright, so this time we'll go down the path into the park. And let's not go into the dark areas. Because I'm guessing maybe that's what caused it to freak out. I'm assuming that was a bug. I'm assuming it was a bug and that maybe, I don't know, something glitched. I did see like a red eye glow in one of these holes though. Which is not a good sign. Is our stalker human or are they demonic? Maybe that's the thing. Maybe I turn here and just go down this way. Well, El Doggo was barking again. I heard something move. Oh god. Uh, this way. Over here, please. Oh god. That's uh, not a nice top down shot. I feel like something's going to appear in one of those holes. Maybe. Okay, I didn't see anything. I can almost see something moving... Yeah, I know. There's something not nice over here. Also, can I just say... Controls between camera shots actually work really smoothly. Do you remember when I was playing that one indie horror game called Amono? And sometimes I had a bit of trouble with the camera shots and the controls. Like, for example, I'd be pressing for, uh, W to go forward. But then as soon as the camera angle changes to a completely different one... It's like my character would turn around and start going back in the opposite direction, things like that. And as a result, it was a bit awkward to control. Not here. This one actually controls really well. At least from what I see of it. From how it's going so far. Oh god, where am I? I'm there. Okay. So dark. I don't like these top-down shots, because something's going to appear in one of these holes. Yeah, dinner like it. Oh. I hear something moving. God, why is that one right by the path? You're awfully calm, little girl. Oh god, it is fucking dark here. What the hell? Close my eyes and let them adjust. Oh god, faded to black. Okay. Okay. Just go on the path then, I guess. Jesus Christ. I'm going to assume we're not going to get chased or anything here, because I can't move any faster than- Oh god. There was a fucking body or something on the bloody path then. And what is that? Am I wandering towards a swamp? Or a sewage outlet or something? God knows. But it sounds kind of weird. Oh, it's a river. I hear you stalking in the bushes, wherever you are. Alright, over the horribly coloured, bloody looking river, I guess. Oh, Jesus. The smell is making me sick. You see what I mean about the controls there? So, let me just e explain about the controls there. So, that previous camera angle there, I was pressing W, obviously, to go forward, and we were sort of facing towards one end of the bridge. But then the camera angle changed to look at the bridge from the side. But I was still pressing W, and my character's still going in the direction that I was going in that last camera shot. Which is really good. It's what you want in a game like this. Whereas in games like Amono, it wouldn't do that. It would have had my character immediately turning and trying to walk into the railing. Which would have been very awkward. That's why that one was just all... Oh god, what was that camera angle just then? Oh. Stop it. Home isn't much further. Oh god. Are you going to make it, though? That's the question. Why would you have to walk back? <laughs> oh god, I'm actually now running. Jesus. That took a turn! Oh, Christ almighty! You're sort of blitzing ahead of me. Why is that? Is that home up there? I hope so. Stop it. Get out of here! What the hell was that? Oh, thanks for playing Almost Home Now, made by Timberwell. And special thanks to all those and the player. Oh, well, butter up my ego. Why don't you, game? <laughs> Lovely. Whoa, <laughs> that got suddenly very intense at the end. Okay, so it automatically makes you run. I guess you can potentially die there if you're not quick enough. Well, that was an interesting little short horror game, wasn't it? Nice little pixel horror game there. Distinct graphical style, very retro. And uh, yes, you get bonus points, devs, for having controls that work a lot better with the sort of different camera angles than other sort of retro pixely style horror games I've played before. Because it reminds me of like old school 
horror games like Resident Evil um, or Silent Hill, where you have like certain camera angles where you sort of like transition between shots. And of course, there's always that challenge of like say c controls being a bit awkward uh, in games like that. But no, in this game, it worked pretty well, and it had a bit of atmosphere there too. So that was that was pretty enjoyable. If you enjoyed that, go check it out for yourselves. Like I say, it's free on Steam, ladies and gents. It's always worth keeping an eye out for free horror games like this um, on Steam when they crop up, because they do crop up from time to time. But other than that, uh, I'll wrap up here. This is General Red wrapping this video up. Facebook and Twitter links down below, along with a link to my propagandist channel for anyone interested. And if you enjoyed, a like's always appreciated. But other than that, I'm signing off now. Goodbye, everybody. Give me, give me, give me. Give me all the fun stuff. Chomp. Do that. Give me these two as well. No, it's not good to just sort of beat your bitch to the ground. Fuck me, it was just a cat. <laughs> Who'd have thought, eh? Who'd have thought that a friggin' cat could be that scary? Ah, uh, you got me good there, game. You didn't even need to do anything overly spooky. You just needed to do that, and that was it. GG. Fucking well done. I'm sure there's worse stuff knocking around here. Note. Just a look at. Let me out. Let me out, please. What's this one? You are good at this. Well, thank you very much. I pride myself on my uh, public sanitation work. I take great pride in it.